homestyle cooking brings family together. At Cracker Barrel Old Country Store, we offer all kinds of different choices to help you do just that. From chicken and dumplings to roast beef, even breakfast for dinner. Because pleasing people has always been part of our recipe. So stop on by. You're always welcome. Hey guys, today we are back at Cracker Barrel after showing you their Valentine and Easter decorations. Yeah, when we were here last week, we noticed they had a few new items on their menu. Yeah, because you guys know if there's something new, we're going to bring it to you. So we're going to go in there and show you what's available. I think they have maybe four or five things. Hopefully they'll have a menu that has everything in it. But we're going to go try at least two of them. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Oh, before we head in there, there's what I'm planning on getting. So I know they have it. Well, they have a new year, new favorites menu. You can pick out three of these barrel bites for $11.99. We've brought you those before. There's some of the teas they've had. We've tried the blackberry tea. It's very good. Peach tea and southern half and half. They have a new homestyle chicken and French toast, $11.49, available all day. I was tempted to get this, but I'm going to pass on it. I have to come back out and try it. The new buffalo buttermilk ranch mac and cheese. Said it's crispy chicken tenders drizzle with kicking buffalo buttermilk ranch sauce topped with diced tomatoes and green onions served with mac and cheese. That looks very good. Some new sides. We're going to try the bacon baked beans. They have some loaded steak fries and Bobby's going to try the new loaded mashed potatoes. You can add cheese sauce to your broccoli for $1.49 signature hot chocolate. This is what I'm going to get. The tips, tenders, and shrimp platter for $15.79. That looks pretty good. Good combination on that. A new classic sampler, a piece of homestyle chicken meatloaf for chicken and dumplings. You can pick two of those or just pick all three of them. Glitter Globe Spritzer. A new mini strawberry cheesecake. It's available for a limited time. We will try that also. It's on the back. New homestyle chicken and French toast catering for $84.99. And they also have a new meatloaf and chicken tenders family meal basket for $46.99. Serves four to six. Let's go to the regular menu to show you the other new items. The new country coastal sampler, which is fish and shrimp. Let's go down here. We talked about the buffalo ranch mac and cheese, but we didn't mention these, the sweet and smoky glazed tenders. That's chicken tenders tossed in maple bacon glaze. That sounds really good. The new smoky southern grilled chicken, two chicken breasts seasoned with our smoky southern seasoning and two sides for $11.99. And crispy fried cornmeal breaded haddock. You can either get three sides for $14.79 or two sides for $13.49. That's what's new here at Cracker Barrel. And one more item, the skillet sirloin steak sampler. You can get shrimp or chicken tenders with this for $15.79. All right, guys, let's look at the food. Just brought it out. There's the sirloin tips, the grilled chicken tenders, some shrimp, the limited time baked beans and green beans. Bobby got the loaded mashed potatoes the smoky chicken tenders with bacon and carrots. What are you gonna try first? I'm gonna try the chicken tenders. There's plenty there, isn't there? Look at all of those. So I see a little of that bacon maple glaze right there. Can you see that, John? 
a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We got some uh, pieces of bacon on there too. I can see it glistening now. I like the sweetness of the glaze, but it has just a little bit of spiciness to it. The chicken was nice and tender. So I always get their carrots. It's just one of my favorite things. So the carrots, nice and tender, and they have a little bit of a sweet flavor to them. You can just put some butter and stuff in it. I always get these carrots. I tried something new with the loaded mashed potatoes with cheddar cheese and some bacon. A lot of bacon in there. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the mashed potatoes? I like them. Plenty of bacon, the Colby cheese gives it a good flavor. Sorry to interrupt, but Bobby, what are you missing in the mashed potatoes? My onions. I think they forgot to put them in there. Didn't see any, did we? Oh, but did you still like them? I did. They were very good. And I got cornbread. John got the biscuits. Let's try the limited time baked beans. Can you see all the bacon in there? Smoky baked beans. Let's stir it up some. Yeah, there's a lot of bacon in there. All right. That does have a nice smoky flavor. You can really taste the bacon. Add a little bit of that salt to it. Has some onions in there. Very good. I gotta get one more bite. I like the baked beans. That was a $1.99 to upgrade for that. It says again, limited time. Start on this. They gave me a hush puppy, which I'm gonna give to Bobby. About eight shrimp. There's the size of those. Looks like, uh, looks like cornmeal on there. Nice and crispy looking. Let's just try it without any cocktail sauce. Those are very good. Looks like it has a little bit of pepper or something in there with it. They're not really spicy, but they can taste a little bit of seasoning, but I do like that. And some sirloin tips. Let's just go with a little piece. Look like those are done pretty well. Let's try this one. All right, guys. That is very good. I bit into that. I forgot that they have garlic butter drizzled all through them. Now I cut this one so you can kind of see in it. It's not chewy. You know, a lot of times these sirloin tips are chewy, so they prepared this very good because if it wasn't, they'd be very chewy. But that's a decent amount of those sirloin tips. Well, I'm glad I got these here. I don't think we ever had the sirloin tips. I think they have a sirloin steak here now also. I'm back on. I had to eat one more of those before I came back. That garlic butter really adds to that. All right, now I'm gonna start off with these chicken tenders. I could have got the fried ones, but I wanted to try to get them grilled. They said they're marinated. Not sure what they're marinated in, but let's just cut one of them. Cuts nice. Looks pretty decent. Nice little char marks on the outside from the grill. Let's try it. Very tender and moist. I mean, they're not hard to chew. They did those well. They brought me out this big container of barbecue sauce. And I like Cracker Barrel's barbecue sauce. I'm gonna try it with that. Drenched it. Good taste with the barbecue sauce, nice and sweet. And I got some green beans, gonna try those. Look like the kitchen cut green beans to me. Overall, this was, I think, $15.99 for all that. That's a pretty good price on that, I think, with the sirloin tips and the shrimp. I'm happy with this new sampler. I'm gonna have Bobby try one of these sirloin tips with that garlic butter. I like the garlic butter glaze that they put over that, and it was nice and tender. I'm gonna try one of Bobby's smoky chicken tenders with all that bacon and that glaze on there. That looks so good. I'll see if I like this better than the marinated ones. Wow, that's a tough choice. That is very good. With that smoke and that bacon, that's a tough choice. I think I kind of like that glaze better than I do the plain marinated chicken tenders, but that is so good. And you can get that on two grilled chicken breasts if you don't want the tenders, but so far, everything is so good. After eating more of these baked beans, there's some kind of other meat in there, and I'm not sure it might be beef brisket or pulled pork, but whatever it is, it adds to it. This is so good. Definitely, again, worth the extra $1.99. So we decided to get the cheesecake, $3.49. It's a graham cracker crumb crust with a strawberry, some Cool Whip. Got strawberry syrup on there also. That 
looks pretty good, Bobby. All right, Bobby, what did you think about that? I like the graham cracker crust and the, the sauce, the strawberry syrup they put over it. And it's nice because they didn't overload the syrup because you can still taste the nice creaminess of the cheesecake. I'm going to try it get some of that strawberry syrup right there with a little bit of that graham cracker crust. That's very good. Nice and cold too. It's not been sitting around. I like the crunch of the graham cracker crust. I like the syrup on there. Adds to it. Like you said, it's not drenched in that. It's a good flavor. Worth $3.49. No, probably could eat one of those by yourself. I mean, that's a mini one, but it's plenty for us to eat splitting it. Look at our receipt here at Cracker Barrel. The tips, tenders, and shrimp, $17.78. I added the baked beans for $1.99 extra. Signature fried chicken with the loaded mashed potatoes, which was another $1.69 upgrade. It was $12.88 altogether. Cheesecake, $3.49. We drank water, $36.20. Just an update on the Easter decorations. Everything else looks the same except Scooby-Doo is here. Doesn't have a price. Not sure what he costs, but I do like them. And they've sold several things in here, Bobby. Yeah, we especially like the blue molds of the rabbit, and they're gone. Yep, around the front and show you. They're all missing already. Yep, look at that, guys. Three of them are gone. Only one they have left is this one. That's what we say. Got to get out and get this stuff quick. Well, we just left Cracker Barrel after trying two of their new items on their 2023 menu. What did you think about it? First, I wanted to give a shout out to our waiter, Jerome. Did an excellent job. Is very friendly. Now, I got the sweet and smoky chicken tenders. I got six of those, two sides, and the biscuits for eleven nineteen. That's a really it good was. deal. But we got an upcharge because we did the loaded mashed potatoes. I like those with the cheese. Plenty of bacon in there. Just needed some of those onions. I never did find any of those, <laughs> but they were good. Now the chicken tenders, I like that maple bacon glaze that they put over that. Had that little bit of a sweet flavor. Tastes a little bit of the smokiness. I don't know if that came from the bacon like you said yeah. you thought. But I thought it had just a little bit of spiciness yeah, to it. Yeah, a little it. bit. It did. Now save room for that cheesecake. I really like that. We shared it. Um, it was nice and creamy. We had the strawberry on it with the strawberry syrup on it. I really enjoyed that. The cheesecake was probably the right size too. It wasn't was. It? Probably I felt, mean, I yeah, felt like that. yeah. I mean, you could eat it by yourself, but after eating that meal, we didn't have enough room. That was plenty for us to split. Now my meal, starting off with those sirloin tips with that garlic butter in there. What'd you think about those too, Bobby? I know you tried them. Yeah, I did like the garlic butter Man. sauce they put over that. Man, that was so good. They were nice and tender. They weren't really chewy. Got the shrimp, uh, what am I, seven or eight pieces, I think it was. That was nice. And the marinated chicken tenders. Now, I did like Bobby's chicken tenders better than those marinated ones, but they were still good. I dipped them in that barbecue sauce. $15 for that meal. And how about those baked beans? Almost forgot about those. $1.99 extra for those. They are limited time, so they're not going to stay on that menu. I think they should. Nice smoky flavor. The onions in there. That bacon. There's a lot of bacon in there. And something else. I don't know if it was beef brisket or pork barbecue. And either one of those are on the menu in there, but there was some other there's kind of meat else. in yeah, there that added to it, but cannot go wrong. Cracker Barrel always does a good job. And I got the hush puppy you had. Oh, yeah. That's that was right, very you good. Now, as you notice, the decorations are being bought quickly so if there was something in there you wanted like those rabbit blow molds which yeah, they're, like. <laughs> they're already gone they're gone so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe yeah so until we meet again j and b have left the building, building.